so this is also uh, briefly types of insulin because you know these are the common uh, uh, names the biochemical names and uh, what they are normally uh, you know we know in our practice so rapid acting insulin spot uh, and then uh, you will uh, hear these names like aprida hemolog novolog hemolin r is you know regular insulin short acting insulin and intermediate acting insulin and ph or hemolin and and this time onset and peak levels are mentioned in this table and there's another another long acting insulin lantus which i use in my practice commonly and many of you would be knowing so for example this is how it uh, you know how these insulins are classified and i would suggest all of you to you know go to a pharmacy or and and, and ask to show all types of insulin or for just for learning purpose you can buy each type of insulin for yourself to see how it looks like what is it is preparation like and how you know there are pre filled insulin pens devices there are pens which are you know uh, which which we you, you change cartridge and there are pre filled pen where you know you can uh, which are which you can use for month and you can keep it comfortably and we should be practically knowing how to store and you know manage insulin because these are the practical things that a patient or person may ask uh, in, in due course of time so unless we have seen you know reading these names in books or seeing them practically in front of our eyes and holding those insulin pens in our own hands and you know trying to load load you know load the dose and and seeing how you know dose is loaded how you know uh, it is injected how dose is calculated if there are different types of insulin to be given what does it actually look like in front of our eyes it is important so i advise you all to you know arrange you know real life insulin preparations pens and devices and check them by yourself many times you know a medical representative in your area may be of help of a particular company and they may come and demonstrate you one type but for providers it is important that we you know see all these types of pens practically in front of our eyes touch them use them and you know then only we can counsel them patient properly and advise the patients properly if we have not seen this you know devices or pens ourselves or the preparations ourselves if we do not know how to practically you know store these uh, uh, preparations how to you know the simple questions when i am traveling how should i manage my insulin how i should carry if i am taking a flight what should i do with my insulin if it is a long flight how should i manage my insulin you know things like that if i am a meeting i miss my insulin what should i do you know i am traveling abroad or out of station for two days how should i manage my insulin so these are the practical things which you know person may come with that is important that apart from knowing these theoretical things we also know practically how how to manage and, and you know the practical things of uh, insulin and uh lastly there are long ultra long acting insulins regular u500 and there are pre mixed insulin where there are you know 70 30 and 50 50 hemolog mix uh 50 50 is there novolin uh, 70 30 is there hemolin 70 30 is there so all these preparation we must see in you know practice from pharmacy or by buying by ourselves or you know when patients use them it is advisable you ask them to bring their insulin pens along with them so that you can see them and you can advise the patients properly and it is a good learning experience to repeat these are the types of insulin rapid acting novolog aprida short acting humulin r intermediate acting humulin n then long acting lantus ultra long acting regular u500 premix novolin hemolin 7030 and then uh, 50 and 50 hemolog mix 5050 is also there so these are the you know practical things that we should 
terms, uh, types we should keep in our minds. And then when we read the literature, which comes along with these insulins, devices or preparations, you will always find all these you know, things, details like, you know, what is the uh, normal onset time and how long it maintains the half-life in the body. Uh, so these are the practical things we should be learning. I repeat again, rapid acting, short acting, intermediate acting, long acting, ultra long acting, and premix. These are the types of insulin we should be knowing about. And this is also another table on, you know, guidelines on rational approach of titration of insulin. You know, how do we gradually increase the dose of insulin? So uh, these charts are according to fasting insulin levels. If it is more than 180, 160, 140, 100, 80, 60, and all. And, uh, and these things, not, we not only have to memorize in, in practical purposes, these are the you know important things that we have to be mindful when we practice, when we advise our patients. So practically using holding insulin in our hands and knowing these guidelines and basics, uh, terminologies, as well as classifications of insulin, and their duration of action, you know, their onset of action, these are the practical things, and how to calculate doses, how to calculate dose for additional meal, or how to calculate dose if you have target to reduce in a short interval of time, and how to manage on a long-term basis, how to do things uh, on, on HbA1c, what are the practical things with respect to managing target HbA1c, as I said earlier, stringent insulin or glucose management is only required or mandated or recommended when the person is healthy. Only the insulin and the sugar part is impaired. The person is frail, having multiple comorbidities, having end organ problems, end of life stage situation, uh, bed bound, poor nutritional status, then very stringent level of sugar management is not required. And then you can be always, uh, you know, uh, you practice according to guidelines. So, you know, if someone asks, and these guidelines are same for everyone, be it an endocrine person or an internal medicine person, ICU intensivist, or, you know, or, 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 you know, or a practicing a family physician, this guideline remains same. So we have to also stick our practice according to these guidelines. Mm -hmm.